Hi, Care here, playing with Chi, class number four. And this one's called Amping It Up. So for, this is the fourth week, we've been doing this ancient, sacred, regenerative art form. Moving Chi, playing with Chi, feeling it in our bodies so that we can then learn to direct it and heal with it. This has been a consciousness raising for weeks of being in our bodies, feeling where the chi is moving, feeling where the blockages are, loosening it up. So we've been doing Tai Chi Gong, which I want to tell you, you know, I think this is Though this is the missing piece for me. Lama, Master Lama Rasaji, who is one of 12 living Master Lamas on the planet, who is also spokesperson for the oldest Lamas area in Tibet, 3,300 years old. This ancient, sacred, regenerative form, art form, has been kept secret and safe for all of these years. Now, I used to run a yoga school. I've studied yoga and taught it all around the world. I've studied Tai Chi and Qigong from different, 11 different masters in China. Tai Chi Gong as has been recently brought out to us, is the original form that everything else came from. And it's powerful. And when I was first introduced to this, um, it was shortly after my husband, Charles, my beloved, left his physical body. And I had time to devote to my spiritual practice and this was given to me and I began listening to Master Lama Rasaji and doing these movements. And it has just absolutely changed my life in so many ways. My energy, my movement, I mean, you know, I've told you this before, I could not walk. Um, I was riding around in a little electric cart, could hardly walk. and. This has just like made my hip work like butter. Um, so it, but it's not just that. It's doing these movements and getting more in touch with my own divinity by doing all of the exercises that Master Lama Ras Rasaji suggests has just given me more energy, more clarity, more focus, more get up and do what I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, and that's why I'm teaching this class. This came up as a result of doing these exercises and meditating and getting, wow, I'm supposed to put all this together in playing with Chi. So I've really amped up my ability to feel the Chi you know, you teach best what you most need to learn. And I have been learning this for a long time and I'm still a student. And I'm feeling energy more than ever before. I mean, even right now, I can feel it in my hands. I can feel it in my body. Um, I, one of the things that I've been doing is my, my sweet husband, Charles, and I have his pictures everywhere in my house. And, you know, when I took this picture of him, he was looking at me. His spirit was looking at me through his eyes with love. And when I look at this picture, I feel his spirit. I see his spirit through those eyes. You know, he's still looking at me. His spirit, his shara, is still alive. It's everywhere. 
in this garden, in my home, in my heart. And that's energy, that's chi, that's love, that's God essence, that's animating life force. So this has just brought me closer to my beloved, it's brought me closer to my own divinity and energy. And this it, orchid garden, you know, when I come out here, this orchid garden is, was created by Charles and myself. And it's in a huge walkway of orchids. And, and the re, one of the reasons I have so many orchids is because Charles would always buy me orchids. And I come out here and commune with the orchids and it's just like communing with nature that's bringing me back that loving essence of Charles. And when we had his um, celebration of life, I asked, because it was in our orchid garden, and I asked people to bring an orchid. So a lot of these orchids are from his friends who brought orchids for his celebration. So it's like in my orchid garden, I'm feeling that energy. That's a form of energy. And the other day, um, I was doing Tai Chi Gung out here, and the sun was shining through the leaves. And I just got so caught up in green growth. It was sunlight coming through chlorophyll in a living plant. And it was just lit up. I mean, that is, and then what are those plants doing? Those plants are putting out prana. They're putting out oxygen for me to breathe. So here I'm getting life force from the plants, from looking at the green, feeling the green, and breathing in that prana, chi, life force, God force. It's all coming alive. So I hope you're experiencing the same sort of transformation, awareness, awakening, as you're doing the Tai Chi Gung, and as you're doing our golden circle breath. <sighs> oh, something else that I, that I realized. Almost every one of you, I think, are using um, iHercules, the high frequency quantum wellness spray, which goes right into the bloodstream and with plants. And it and looks like this. And I was realizing when I was breathing in that green energy, that's what I'm getting when I spray this under my tongue and it goes right into my bloodstream. It's like taking that plant prana and putting it right into my blood. And then my blood just then opens up and relaxes and circulation and microcirculation open up so then everything can flow free and easy. And that's what happens also when we do Tai Chi Gung. So let's do a little movement here now. So this morning I was sitting in my garden writing after I had done my Tai Chi Gung. It always is just so inspiring, I have to write things. And I noticed as I was sitting there that I was doing this movement. You know, I was doing the figure eight. And I'm noticing that more and more. When I get calm and focused and that I can feel that flow. You know the term getting in the flow. That's, I could feel myself in that flow. So just do this infinity sign with your body. I really think this is what is giving my hip, which, you know, has been 
bone on bone for quite a while. Lubrication. I heard a doctor saying the other day that they don't understand why, but joints can be relubricated. They don't know where it comes from after it's been all worn out. But it's like my this has given my body the lubrication it needed to not have to go get that hip replaced, which I'm not doing anyway. But <laughs> so the infinity sign. I really believe that the more you do this infinity sign, the longer you'll live. I mean, this is infinity moving in our bodies. You know how when you move water in a container, how it will continue to move until it gets down to that very final little, you know, coming back to rest. That's what we're doing with this infinity sign. And it's giving us the long life. It's giving us so much that we're not even aware of on so many different levels. So I, I, I love this. And you know, when we do it full out, and we're not going to do the whole thing because I know you're doing it every day, but when you're doing this whole thing where you have one with your right foot forward a little bit, the other one with your left foot forward, well, my son's walking onto the property and my dog's just let me know. <laughs> and then the final one is when your feet are, are just together, parallel, and you're doing this beautiful movement. And when you get it moving with your breath, It just gets you into a space of peace and centeredness. Because what you're doing when you're going heel toe, heel toe, you're bringing everything back into the center. Just coming back into the center. So you're getting centered and grounded. You know, last week we talked about running our roots deep into Mother Earth for grounding doing this. You know, every time I do it, it's just a little different in terms of what I notice. And I'm sure you're doing that. And I hope you're, please put your ahas and your experiences in our Facebook support group called Playing With Chi so that we can share. You know, I'd love to do this in person so that we can get immediate feedback. But Doing it there, we can get feedback. And I will be doing um, some videos there and some Zooms where we can do it and see each other as well. So I'm just letting my body now just that movement take over until I come to a very gentle, centered stop. But it doesn't actually stop even inside my cells. You know, our blood is 92% water. Ugh. So it just keeps, I can feel it still moving in my body. Okay, the twist. You know, this is the one I think that I feel the most because it moves, oh, I'm gonna move forward just a little bit. Tell me if that's okay, Ashley, okay. Move a little bit more forward. I don't want to hurt these sweet orchids. Am I okay? All right. This, I really think, is like a pump. We've done this. You get your breath going with it. Feel your chest expand with this. I love feeling my muscles, my obliques, is that what they are? This is sculpting my body. And when I get that energy moving all the way up into the upper part of my chest, and using my breath as a pump, and then I let it flow down my arms and relax it. 
and let go with the negative, the stuff that doesn't do me any good. The fears, the uncertainties, just let it go, just let it flow right on out through your fingers. And this is the one that, wow, I sure feel that. Can you feel that in your hands? You know, this is chi that you're feeling in your hands. Put it where you need it. I put it on my hips. And just breathe that in. See, I'm still moving. You know, I'm amazed at how quickly my body is transforming, doing these simple energy movement exercises. I am, I've lost 35 pounds. Um, I can pull in my belly again. <laughs> you know, with my husband, I was sitting, I was by his side 24 seven. I did very little movement except to go get things. And um, my body just did not respond well to not having movement. And this is the perfect movement. So why, I bet you're watching your bodies transform. One thing that I was doing this morning after I had done this and I could feel that there were blockages in my hands. I've had some arthritis in my thumb joints. So when I do this and really shake them, and it's kind of like a little kid, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then stop that movement and feel that. You know, we have so many blockages in our bodies, blockages from toxins, from our air, food, and water, water, blockages from negative emotions that we've held on to, um, blockages that do us no good, that cause us to age. This will free them up. So notice, where are you blocked? And then move that energy and let it unblock. I can feel so much energy moving in my thumb joints, you know? And that's, that's chi. That is our animating life force. Without that, we could not move. We could not live. So what we're doing is we're becoming familiar with our life force. And it feels so good. I want to do just a little crane. Oh, this morning when I was sitting in my garden and I was writing and writing and writing and writing and and I kept thinking I need to get up and do the crane. You know, I want to do these kind of right together. Two cranes flew over me in the sky. When you're in flow, you notice how the universe responds. That was just the universe saying, or God saying, or Charles saying, get up and do the crane. So, <sighs> this feels so good. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. One more. Feel your rib cage expand. And now you want to feel it in your neck and upper back. And just relax. Inhale, gently come up. Inhale, up. This is what's getting me to stand up straight. I was bending over like a little old lady with my rib cage in my belly and now I'm standing up straight and it's the crane that's doing that. And now relax, bend over, feel the stretch in your upper back all the way down to your kidneys. 
relax and inhale up all the way up stretch one more time fly now all the way down oh, as far as is comfortable let go of any holding in your lower spine and inhale and come back up and now just one more time this is the final one sometimes I'll do it a whole lot more than this when I'm outside by myself and and this is the landing one so elbows out those are your wings come down to ground and then pick up your feet one at a time stretch your talons and ground and I so often feel like I just need to do that and that bouncing is like breaking up some blockages in my hips and you know I was I learned Tai Chi to go to China I told you I taught at the World Congress of Natural Medicine there and I learned Tai Chi so I could do it in the gardens in the morning where everybody does that you know they're out there doing their Tai Chi in the morning and one of the things that almost everybody did was they're slapping themselves they're breaking up blockages or they're doing like like I was doing the shaking to break up those blockages and they do that on a daily basis you know to keep their body open and flowing you know the eye Hercules opens the circulation the microcirculation the lymphatic system and we heard Master Lama Rasaji say it opens up the meridians and the chakras as well. So doing this and, t and taking the, the prana from plants at the same time is just accelerating our progress in feeling, moving, playing, and healing with chi. So Tai Chi Gung Swim. Just feel that. You know, it's so good to be in the garden, in nature. Just being part of it. We, the animating force of nature is chi, and it's what animates me and you. And this feels so good. I can't start my day without doing this. I just do not feel right unless I get the energy flow going and then gather it up gather it up bring it back in the plane going over top <laughs> that's the one thing about doing this in the garden I mean you listen to the garbage trucks go by and cars and airplanes I did a uh, yoga video one time at Sunken Gardens and when we got it all done I mean it was a three camera shoot it took all day I did two videos and when we got it all done <laughs> they said you know what we're gonna have to overdub this <laughs> I didn't have a script I oh my uh, that was that was just crazy Okay, so now we've got this chi. Oh, listen to the bird chi. Is that beautiful? Okay, so we've got this energy ball. Boy, you can feel it. And now inhale. Now this is another time when you've got this energy that you can put it where you need it to heal. it into a tight little ball let those vortexes in your hands rub over top of each other and now put this in your body in your dantian 
and just feel it. The most important part of this, I think, is letting that energy ball be absorbed into your body and feel it tingling and going up to your head and down your legs and down your arms until it goes beyond your physical body. I think the most important part of this is feeling that orb of energy around you that goes 7 to 12 feet around you and feeling the glow, the God realization, the love, the oneness, GLO. <sighs> One of these days I'm going to really physically glow. I just am sure of that. You know, did you do more of your throwing your energy balls to make holes in the clouds or to, to move leaves on trees? What have you done to play with chi? What have you learned? Share that in our group. What's the kind of energy that surrounds you during the day? You know, I work out of my home. Um, my husband and I, years ago, I mean, we used to be college professors, but years ago we decided we wanted to be together and have a family that we could be with and raise and homeschool and travel the world with. You know, so we, we got involved with networking because we could do what we wanted to do and do something that would assist anybody, everybody that wanted to be healthier, stronger. And so we've done that and our home has become our little paradise. And I'm surrounded by loving, positive, beautiful energy and memories. So the energy that's surrounding me, I have perfected. What's the energy around you in your home? Just moving a few things, just lighting the candle, just moving, doing your Tai Chi Gong in your home and moving energy can lift up the frequency, can make a difference. And what you put in your body can make such a difference because that energy, Chi, that's coming out of the plants and going into your body in the food that you eat is so important. So what are you eating? Are you eating like I, this morning I had, oh, here's another plane. <laughs> this morning I had a pear that was so ripe. It was beautiful. It was directly from God, you know? It was God's food. Are you noticing that you're not wanting processed or chemicalized things? The more chi you get running in your system, the more conscious you become, and the more your body craves the high frequency energy. Energy. God force. Love. We are amping it up. We are amping it up every time we do this. And the golden circle breath amps it up and clears the channels. I'm so happy that you joined me today in my orchid garden. I know that I keep saying we're going to do it in my vegetable garden and we'll sh talk about how to actually energize the plants. And we'll do that next time. But in the meantime, feel the chi moving in your body. Play with it and begin to learn to heal with it. We'll see you next week. Blessings. Bye now.